Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 37 and in this tutorial we are continuing with our creating a create a basic website layout uh, series and this is actually part 4 where we're actually going to start working with the CSS. Okay, so hopefully you guys have watched the previous videos and you have a website that looks something like this where we have our logo and navigation um, you know main section aside whatever the foot at the bottom okay so uh, let's just make sure that you guys are uh, linked to your style sheet so um, make sure that that line of code is there and we're gonna style this content but the first thing I want to do is um, get rid of all paddings and margins because um, if we take a look at this in the browser real quick you can see that there's a margin or a padding around our image which stops our image from actually uh, rubbing up against the sides of the browser the same thing with our navigation and the same thing with these headers and um, paragraphs etc okay but the problem with that is this margin or padding might be different in Firefox than it is in Chrome and it might be different in Chrome than it is in Internet Explorer and it might be different in Internet Explorer than it is in Safari or something so all the browsers could have all like all these weird different rules or different defaults and we want to get rid of all those defaults okay so let's go over to CSS over here and I'm gonna make a comment and I'm just gonna say get rid of default padding and margin because that's the first thing we want to do okay and to do this we're gonna use the asterisk symbol or the little uh, star symbol if you hold shift and the number 8 key on your keyboard you should get that symbol and what that does is select all the elements on the web page okay so basically um, every single element that you can think of that you've put on this page will be selected okay and we can set this equal to um, margin of zero pixels and padding of zero pixels and that is gonna get rid of all of our margins and padding so now everything is kind of rubbed up against the side here and I know that doesn't look very good at all but we're gonna go ahead and put our margins in a little bit later on um, but just for now so that everything will look the same in all the browsers we had to hit that reset into there okay so we've got margin and padding now let's go ahead and uh, something I actually want to do here is just take list style type and we'll set that equal to none so uh, basically none of our lists are going to have those bullet points on the front of them which is a good thing because our navigation as you can remember was a list and we don't want bullet points next to our navigation and we also had social links here that are in a list and we don't want bullet points next to them either so um, yeah it's a good thing just to clear those out by default and we'll put them in later on whenever we need them okay now um, the next thing I want to do is make sure that all of these new elements over here, this header element, this nav element, uh, the section element, article, etc. I just want to make sure that all the browsers are going to display those as block level elements. Now um, most, of the <laughs> most of the new browsers will do that by default but just if you want to make sure that the uh, Older browsers will handle those as block level elements as well. Uh, you just want to make sure that you do this. So we're going to go ahead and say header and nav and article and um, I don't know what other ones did we have here. Section and footer. Section and footer. Okay. And we're actually selecting all of them at once by doing this. Um, going one comma next one comma next one and uh, what we'll do here is just say display block okay and that is gonna make sure that older browsers will display these elements over here as block 
level elements, even if they have no idea what these new tags are supposed to mean. Okay? And the next thing I want to do is center our web page. Because if we go back here, everything is pushed up right against the side. And, you know, I don't really like that. I'd, I'd prefer maybe our website to go from being over here on the side of the browser to being uh, somewhere in the middle, being centered somewhere. Okay, so to center your whole uh, web page, we're actually going to go over to our HTML side of things and if I zoom out over here at the start of my body tag I'm gonna drop down one line and create a new div okay so I'll zoom uh, back in on that and I'm gonna give this div a class of uh, container because this is just gonna contain our entire web page because as you'll see in just a second, I'm going to highlight everything. So starting from my beginning header tag, I'm going to highlight everything, scroll all the way down to our footer, and I'm going to indent that all by one line. So I've hit tab, and I'm going to end off my div over here. So um, this might not look like much, but if I zoom out and maybe just condense all these things over here, you can see we have this main div tag surrounding our header section aside and footer. So in other words we took our entire website and put it in this big div which I called container. So um, let's go over here and make a comment just to say um, centering website and over here we're gonna go ahead and grab that div which I gave it a class of container so um, let's grab that and select it by the class and in here we'll give this a width now most websites usually have a width of about a thousand pixels or 980 pixels or something so I'm gonna give this a width of 1000 pixels just to be um, like I don't know have a nice round number okay and I'm going to give this a margin of 0 pixels and auto. Now what this is going to do is leave a margin of 0 pixels on the top and 0 pixels on the bottom but the left and the right are going to be auto or automatic okay and what that's going to do is um, if we go over to the browser over here figure out how much space is on this side and how much space is on this side and then actually center the web page for us so when I um, click refresh somewhere over here uh, nope <laughs> okay uh, I didn't save so need to go back and save that because I didn't save the CSS file okay now when I click refresh um, we have our website jumping more this way now the reason why it is not exactly centered is because if I go over and I inspect, ele inspect element over here we gave this a width of 1000 pixels um, which means my 1000 pixel starts here and ends here so we've centered the big 1000 pixel div uh, so hopefully you guys can see these little dotted lines uh, going down the sides here uh, but if you can't then Another thing we could always go do is maybe just add a border to this. So border of one pixel, oh, let's go uh, two pixels, solid uh, black. And go back to the browser now. And hopefully you guys can see that we've got this big div over here, which is actually centered in the middle of the web page. Now, in the next tutorial, we'll take a look at actually getting this navigation to... Uh, get floated next to our logo and then we'll also try and make our main section appear here in the main side of things and this aside section appearing along the side over here. So that's all I have for you guys in this video but obviously don't forget to subscribe, please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video, it's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.